What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and click that tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So as usual my people, me have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. And the first thing me I go get in a businessman acquitted of gun and ammunition charges. The failure of the prosecution to produce vital exhibits in a case after six years and three trial dates result in businessman Winston Green being freed of charges of illegal possession of firearm and ammunition in the Western Regional Gun Court on Tuesday. Attorney at law Abel Dan Foote, who represented Green, argued that his client constitutional rights to a fair trial within a reasonable time was mutilated by the fact that the exhibits such as swabs of gunshot residue and fingerprints were not made available even up to Tuesday. It was alleged that on March 10, 2017, the police received information about gunshots being fired in the Long Bay area of St. James. Upon arrival in the area, Green was alleged to be standing in close proximity to a firearm. He was asked about the weapon and it was alleged that Green said, Officer, is for a next man who run gun. But me take it and fire one out of it in real life. How are this? The man saying in real life. Jaja. He was taken into police custody along with the firearm and swab for gunpowder residue. But him don't tell them saying fire one out of it. So the, the swab no mean nothing. Because him tell them say him fire one out of it. So he must have gunpowder residue upon him. And the case came up for trial on Monday where foot made preliminary objections surrounding the fact that after 13 trial dates the result of the swabs taken were not disclosed to the defense although they were under the control of the state justice martin gale adjourned the matter for the following day giving the prosecution time to produce the material but that was not done foot then argued that the case should be thrown out because his client constitutional right to a fair trial within a reasonable time had been mutilated by the lack of fingerprints and gunshot residue result that had the capability of exonerating him. He further argued that the accused legal right to challenge his accuser had been compromised as he was not furnished with his material in preparation of the defense. Foot cited a number of court of appeal cases which led to acquittals due to the trial non-disclosure. The prosecution also made an issue locating a key witness which was highlighted during the submission. Justice Gill upheld the submission and freed Green. I am elated by the victory because I am innocent of those charges and have always maintained that I am innocent, said Green, who is the son of the late Dr. Winston Green, who was Member of Parliament for St. Mary South East. So, the money I'm lucky still, people. You see me, I say? Because, remember, when they are RSC, you know, I don't know if Jamaicans read um, people them rights, but when them thing they know them say what you say can be used against you in the court of law so when see alone could I give them a conviction you know you see me I say because him tell the police say he's a next man own but him boss it seen and them swab him for gunpowder residue and fingerprint and because of the lack of um, quick turnaround time to bring the um, fingerprint and gunpowder residue that cause him to get, you know what I mean, acquitted of all charges. But remember, him tell the police them saying, boss it, you know what I mean? But you don't know the law work, you work a certain type of way. If things not go this way, them can dash it out. You understand? So, uh, that them did uh, argue even in uh, the Vibes Cartel case. You see me I say, say them tamper with the evidence. So from your tamper with that evidence there, that's supposed to get thrown out. No matter how guilty that person there is or how innocent him is, that I forget thrown out. So them not throw it out. So at that are the BS. 
where kind of get cartel ah uh, um wait name again appeal granted you see me so the law works certain type of way where you can get off of things where you even do you know what i mean so we are gonna move on with people leave your comment in the comment section i let saint james gangster kill in saint mary a man believed to be a member of a gang behind a series of murders within the communities of salt spring and flower hill in saint james was shot and killed by the police in mason hall saint mary on wednesday morning the police say Odin jungle barrett of bird hill megitop was linked to a double murder committed outside salt spring primary school in saint james just over a month ago barrett who has been on the police radar was reportedly found in the quiet saint mary community during a pursuit operation by the saint james and saint mary police commanding officer in charge of saint james senior superintendent of police vernon ellis told our news team that a pistol was recovered during the confrontation which led to barrett's death about 4 a.m so the police them say them guy me had over 30 times in a St. James and them no find him. SSP Ellis stated adding that with two of the alleged gangsters out of the way, he would continue to pursue the remaining men. One of the alleged gang members is in police custody in connection with the killing of two students who were shot in a taxi. The gangsters are from Bird Hill, Scott Yard, Arslane, and Flower Hill, and we are not going to stop until we find them, Ellis promised. Ellis said the police believe a few have also fled to St. Elizabeth and is hoping that law-abiding citizens in these areas will give them up. His comments came hours after the state of emergency, which went into effect on November 8th, ended in the parish there has been no major crime in the parish since the measure was imposed so people leave your comments in the comment section so my people them you tell where you go sip on the screen and the youth them will drop out in the bike accident in a westmoreland and the man where you go sip on the screen now are the youth where you just see father see him say the youth now here and him tell the youth to come live with him because him a go on with some things where him the father don't approve of. Him say him give the son two grand every morning for go to school. Seeing so him should have on no bike. You know what I mean? And the youth where you see first, him are the cousin. I think so. Him and the youth are cousin. Right? So, fiend parents them say, them don't know of him owning no bike. You know what I mean? And him not left the yard on the bike. So it look like same go check him friend, take the bike, and the two of them ride go to school. You see it? A regular practice for them. You understand? So them say must see a negotiate a corner and end up straight ahead in our oncoming vehicle. And you don't see the picture of them online. You see me I say, but you see most of the time the people. You have to tell the youths them the danger and don't cuss them and tell them the danger. Reason with them. You see what I say? Sit them down and reason with them and make them know the danger of certain things. You understand? You and them have a good conversation and you tell them what can happen. You know what I mean? Because them youths, yeah, them dip on the bike and a fly them a fly. You see me? And in America, if you are a certain age, like under like f like you are 15 16 you can get a learner's license you see me i say 16 to 18 you can get a real driver's license where you can drive 16 year old one of the youth are 16 i think the one where i ride the bike are 16. you see me i say so them can free up the law the age you know what i mean or who can drive or ride but make sure the youth them know the danger. The principal at the school say, 
nobody can park on the compound and nobody can park around the areas where them know about you know what i mean as me i say people them can free up the age limit you know what i mean and who can have a license you see me i say and give them youth here some permit but make them know the dangers are riding and driving you see me i say you can teach that in other school like how you teach any other subject you see me i say have a safety meeting with the youths them where them teacher like how them have devotion have them type of thing there with them because them are going in a world you know a school them get prepared for the real world in you know, a school and yard you know you see me i say so talk to them about certain things you know what i mean so r.i.p to them youth yeah you know what i mean condolences to the families and to all of the youths them on a few years on a few listen you see me i say because on appearance them now go tell you no, no foolish you know what i mean them i go tell you no straight fox so even when them are cuss and i say yo don't do this don't do that listen to them you know what i mean listen to them so people bless upon yourself and thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe